Hey y'all, I'm back. Do I got a good singer voice tone? Maybe. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is Robin Reeves with Between the Sheets podcast. I am back on air for season three. This episode is called Where Have I Been and Why? So last year, I'm going to get into it. Last year, November, uh, my, my last show was with Shada Boo. She's a rapper in Milwaukee. Um, we just talked about the rap industry and everything that's going on with that. It was a really good show. Shay, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to have you back. I really want to tell all of my guests from season one and two, thank you all for being guests, part of my show. I just had to take a complete like mental break from everything um by the time that show had came up until i want to say march of this year i felt myself like constantly saying to people stop disrespecting me stop disrespecting me stop disrespecting me stop disrespecting me and i just feel like anytime i say that more than one time to a group of people or to one person then it's just time to totally revamp like it's time to make some changes and, and and get started so i went through even as of a couple of days ago i went through and anybody who played with me one time i'm done like i'm not playing because it just was too much of i'm putting too much into other people and i'm getting so little in return and then the little that i do get back comes with disrespect it's like why would i be doing that so friends, family, business, whatever, I don't care if I'm sleeping with you, whoever, one time, and, and it's and it's over. And the people I did stop talking to, fuck y'all, and y'all can kiss my ass. Okay, so uh yeah. <laughs> so okay, so I'm not a negative person and I don't like to be, you know, mean to anybody, but I feel like, you know, people know that my demeanor is not um, aggressive or I don't seek attention from people or I'm not naturally mean or I don't be disrespectful. So it always seemed like I was inviting those types of people into my life and I didn't like that. I'm like, what's up with this? Like everybody I be around fucking suck ass. Like y'all, y'all making me sick. So I'm done. I'm back on air. I'm ready for my uh, new seasons. My, I'm ready for this season to start. I'm ready for all my new guests to come on. I'm ready for them to have fun with me on air. Um, I love what I do on my podcast. Um, I've been told that I should change the name, but I'm not because of two reasons. But I want to tell you all the two reasons why. Because you all tune in. So, I do want to say um, thank you all for tuning in thus far. I appreciate everybody who supported my show, everybody who has encouraged me to get back on as soon as possible, anybody who has been anticipating the new episodes. All of you all are important to why I'm here today. I also want to say thank you to my producer because he has been really patient. He has made sure that he's, you know, checked on me while I was gone. And that lets me know that he missed my show. Claps for Between the Sheets. So <laughs> he talks a little crazy, but they never him mind. Like he he know he missed me being on the air. So I'm not gonna be before you all long, but I do have some things I want to talk about. Um, I am having my third back to school drive for the kids in Milwaukee. It is it is with Fee. Um, she's the owner of Fostering Fest Festivities. We this will be our third one this year. Um, big shout outs to Fee because she does so much work with the kids in the community. Um, I'm just glad to be a part of it and be in partnership with her every year. It gets better and better. So we are looking for major um, contributors, donations, anything counts. Um, I tell everybody five below has five other book bags, um, TJ Maxx, Walmart, Target, wherever you at. If you just feel it in your heart to grab a book bag or grab school supplies, we can never have too many pens, pencils erasers folders notebooks we can never have too many too much of that stuff so if you're in a store and you happen to think about robin reese or fee or fostering festivities please just pick us something that we would greatly appreciate it last year we had a bounce house we had gift cards um and we had some neighborhood kids come out in a neighborhood where um there is little opportunity 
for our children to th thrive. People have to understand that Milwaukee has its good parts, but it also has its bad parts. And the bad neighborhoods is where the most kids are living. That's where most of them are residing. You're having kids come from families of two or more children, up to 12 children, barely going to school or barely having what they need to be equipped for school. So it's very important that we try to, you know, help out as much as we can. It's important um, to me being a child growing up in a poverty, uh, a poverty neighborhood as a child myself. So that's enough for that. Make sure you all um, donate if you can. I'll leave me and Fee's uh, information underneath this post once this podcast is done for today. Um, so thank you all for being a part. I appreciate you all for last year and the years before his activities or participation. So I appreciate it, especially my co-host who or my um guests who came on and you know gave right away. I really appreciate them and also my my friends and family. Y'all are important. So next thing is I wanted to touch on friendship because I still keep up with social media i still keep up with what's going on in the world and i did watch the interview with carisha and saucy santana i do want to shout out saucy because you have to have you at least one friend that's gonna always keep it real or always see your side that people don't see people think that it's so easy to just get up and live your life every day even though if things might look a certain way it's not easy to just live life like you have no problems and people be getting that misinterpreted just because you get up every day you're not fighting any battles just because you're getting up every day you're not struggling just because you're getting up every day you know looking good it might not always reflect how you feel on the inside and what i got from that interview is that you know we all need somebody especially when we're going through something i've never been a person to kick people while they're down and i find myself in situations where people already know my situation be bad but then they try to make it worse so yeah and it's always good to have a friend that live by the same principles that you live by like if I feel a certain way about the friend, the friendship that we have and how you need to be a friend of me is the same way I need to be a friend of you. And I really saw that, you know, Saucy and Young Miami are on the same page as far as it comes down to being a friend because it's just certain boundaries that you can't cross in a friendship. Like people be overstepping themselves or be doing too much. Sometimes a friend should just be a listening ear. And somebody who's gonna be on your side whether you right or wrong not to where you hurting yourself but at least to where you can talk to them without being judged so yeah shout out to saucy because that was really a really powerful um interview um young miami was able to tell her side of the story i am not big on domestic violence but you know maybe she didn't experience p diddy at the state that the other women experienced p diddy everybody have to think too that their their relationship was still premature they were only like a year in or a year and a half in it wasn't like you know 10 12 years in how he had been with kim and cassie so you know maybe she didn't even get to that point of where he would be how he is towards them towards her or maybe he or maybe he did change i believe i changed from when i was 20 to 30 so who's to say that people don't change like i don't always believe that we should throw the book at people and just say that they can't change just because they made a mistake yeah it is bad what he did but i'm just saying maybe in his relationships he did try to work on himself to get better so young miami might you know feel like he wasn't being towards her how he how he was towards them and you also got to look at the fact that when somebody putting you in position to make money and to do better in your life y'all really don't even have time to talk about bullshit. like i got a whole situation or i be or i've been in a whole situation where me and this person don't ever talk about nothing bad because it's nothing bad to be talked about we're talking about some money we're talking about elevating we're talking about what we got to do to make this happen nobody really has time to be talking about some something you did five six years ago i don't even care to be honest like as long as it's not going to be nothing detrimental towards my kids 
or my family, my mother, we're not even discussing it. We can have one initiation or initial conversation where we talk about bad stuff. And then after that, it's out the window because I don't really prefer to listen to stuff like that. Like I'm not one of one of them type of women that just lay in your past. I wasn't there. So what could it do me? It, it, it would do me nothing. So. So what to expect from this season? Um, I'm going to keep it a lot more realer. Um, I always been one to not cuss as much, so I don't think I'll be doing that, but I will be keeping stuff more, I think more realer, just saying what I feel, saying everything from my point of view, letting that be what I said. Um, I don't go to church every Sunday, but I am, I do believe in God. You know, I don't, do stuff that everybody else do, but that don't mean that I don't have morals and values. And I think people get that mixed up. Like, oh, how could you have a podcast to talk about this, talk about that? Because I'm human. Who I'm here to satisfy me. I'm here to satisfy my viewers. And I'm here to talk about the stuff that everybody want to hear about. So I think um, I am going to keep it more realer. I'm not tailoring my show to fit what everybody else think how it should be like. I got people in my family who are one way. I got people in my family who are another way. I got people... I be around who only like people to be, you know, this or that or that or this. And y'all all gonna have to take me and my show how it is. Take it or leave it. So with that being said, I'm not going to keep you all long. I want to thank everybody for tapping in. Um, this is just my introductory. Welcome back. Podcast, and I can't wait to finish off season two. Start, start season three and finish off season three because I really got some really um, good things planned. And I want to shout out my producer once again because he has been here, he has been patient, and he has held my hand through the whole process with me getting back on air and um, just being patient while I took my break. So thank you, Tom. And I will see you all um, two Saturdays from now, 4 o'clock. I will have a guest, and we will be getting back to the nitty-gritty. Until next time.